Good morning, guys. Welcome to day three or four. Let's see, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Day three of vacation. We're in the car. We're getting ready to leave for Lakeland, Florida, and it says it's four hours and 40 minutes away from here. So I'm hoping that that's actually right and it's like not that long because yesterday I checked and it said it was five hours. So that's awesome that our time got shortened by 20 minutes. And I'm hoping traffic won't be that bad this morning because it's um, Monday after 4th of July. So I'm pretty sure there's not gonna be a lot of people on the road this early in the morning. Most people are probably sleeping in, have hangovers and stuff. So yeah, hopefully it's not busy. And we are leaving a lot later than I wanted to. I was so tired though, like I could not wake up at 6 a.m. So right now it's 7.15. So we're leaving one hour later than what I wanted to, but that's okay. I got some extra sleep and everything's good. So now we're just gonna get on the road and head towards Lakeland. I booked a hotel last night and I booked one that's downtown, like right downtown Lakeland. So I'm excited to see what that's like. So we're just gonna get on the road and drive another four to five hours today. <laughs> Not that exciting, but this is the last day that we're, we have to drive a long distance until we go home. After this, we just have to drive like one hour to St. Pete and then we're there for the rest of the trip until we leave. So yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, we're gonna get on the road. So here we are just going into Florida. I just grabbed that on my phone real quick and here is a bridge um, in Florida and I hate bridges you guys I freak out every single time we go over them I normally roll the windows down because I'm scared the bridge is gonna collapse and that way we can escape out of the windows So we don't drown if the bridge collapses over water if it's just a bridge over land I don't freak out but normally I get like really really bad anxiety going over bridges And this one was really really high up and you had to like go up the bridge and then down the bridge And it was all over a bunch of water. So I wanted to show you guys that it was pretty but nerve-wracking and this is when we got into Orlando. I've never like been through Orlando. When I was younger, obviously I've been to like Disney World and stuff, but as an adult, I've never been. And so I was just looking at all of the buildings in the city. And we even got to drive past a lot of the theme parks and everything they have there. We could see like the really cool structures and like volcano type things with waterfalls and a whole bunch of rides and things like that. So it was like really fun to drive through Orlando because you could see all the different amusement parks and really fun cool things they had although we did get stuck in traffic here for like an hour and it was like hell trying to drive through here because of disney world and all of the theme parks they have here traffic sucks but it was really cool to see all the architecture and all the really cool rides it definitely made me want to go to disney as an adult here Aaron was pointing out you'll see like this really tall tower looking thing it looks like a needle almost and there's people swinging off the top of that needle next to the ferris wheel like spinning around and I was like oh hell no like I hate heights I cannot imagine doing that and it was crazy to see little tiny people being flung around the very top of that needle it was absolutely insane all right we are in Lakeland we've been here for probably like 40 minutes now um, we've just been driving around a little bit trying to find a bathroom and then we wound up eating and we ate at Harry's and I totally forgot to vlog but it's basically a seafood place so Aaron and I couldn't really get anything it was all meat based and seafood based and obviously we don't eat meat or seafood or anything like that so we couldn't really get anything but we did get the side so we got the bread and it comes with bread and butter and it was so freaking good and then we each got some sides we got an appetizer that was fried green tomatoes and then we got sides he got red beans and rice with a side of fries and I got um, smashed potatoes and um, vegetables seasonal vegetables and I mixed it all together and it was so good like that's the only thing that we could eat there but it was so good i highly recommend it it was so good i would i would go back just to get those sides like it was so delicious so now we're getting ready to go to hollis park i think that's what it's called it's like a big walking area and they have like really pretty gardens and trees and everything so we're gonna go check that out i'm not sure i think all this stuff's free it's just like parks and stuff so we're gonna go there and walk a little bit because we've been in the car all day today I will show you guys that restaurant if we drive past it. So I'll try and film some of this stuff for you guys. 
Let's go. Oh, there's Hollis Garden. It's closed. I said it was closed because it's a holiday, but we can still go to the lake. We can go tomorrow before we leave. Look how quiet it is here. It's so pretty. What I love. What? Just a nice place and you can go for free. Yeah, me too. I'm just gonna take a peek in here. There's lizards everywhere in here. Holy shit. Look at them. One, two, three. They're running everywhere. That one got like a puffy thing on his throat. This place is so fucking gorgeous. Look how quiet it is. It's a holiday and it's so quiet here. Look at that big ass pine tree. Not pine tree, what is that called? The palm tree. What are those? Dinky said, what are those? Smells fishy, huh? Oh, shit. Smells fishy. Oh, there's a fish right there. A little baby. Little baby fish. That is beautiful when the little things bloom. Oh my gosh. I didn't even think about that. You're right. Yeah, they're getting ready to bloom. I'm going to have to Google a picture of what that looks like. There's like no one here. Look around this um, ledge right here. I guarantee there'll be more turtles. Trying to be quiet. <laughs> Babe. <laughs> They're not going to. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Imagine that all over. That's so much more vibrant than I thought. It's yeah, like a peachy. The yeah, the bulbs are yellow. I'm looking for another turtle. I don't see one. I can't believe how there's like no one here. Yeah. It's literally a holiday. Well, it's not a holiday anymore, I guess, but kind of. Look how beautiful. All of these gardens. Not gardens, but like all this land on the lake. It's like a perfect picnic place. Like, oh my goodness. Just to come and be like at one with nature. I wonder if it's because that garden isn't open. God damn it. I would say this is more like a pond. I wouldn't say this is a lake. Well, it's considered a lake. A giant pond. I love all the art, the architecture, not architecture, what's that called? Sculptures. All those, so pretty. I love the beams, the light. This, this has got to be so beautiful at nighttime. I keep saying that, but like this place, all these places have to be so pretty at nighttime. <gasps> is that a huge fish right there in the water? Yes, oh, wow. it is. He's a big boy. People don't catch them and hurt them, do they? I don't know. I'm gonna don't zoom in. They look at it. <laughs> it's Biggie. looking at us. It's a piggy. It's like you got some french fries. It's literally looking at us. Oh my gosh, that's a big boy or girl or whatever. It's a big fishy. Whoa, it's so cute. Eating the veggies. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, shall we? You guys, look at this. What are these little pink things? Does anybody know? They're like growing all over. It's like a sea urchin or a sea sponge or something. They're literally like all over the side of this. Like if I put my camera, you can see little pink blobs all along the concrete. I don't know what that is. Let me know. You guys know what those are. I'm just gonna keep my camera rolling because every single time I turn my camera off, I'm like, oh, look at this, oh, what's this? Can you tell we're from Indiana? We know nothing. We, we know see corn. nothing. We know beans. corn and beans. Is this a big school of fish right here? Look at all those. Do you see those, babe? <laughs> They're so cute. There's so many, um, what are those called? Dragonflies on all the, on all the lilies. It's so pretty. I hope I'm doing good camera work here. I'm trying. This is a beautiful big open area. What is this? It says what this sculpture is. So pretty. Tribute to the volunteer spirit. A 
gift to the community to honor Lakeland's long history of volunteerism and generosity. Beautiful, let's go see it. Look how beautiful these big, these big beams are. And this just opens up to the water. Cute. <laughs> Little red-headed birdie bird. Babe, come look at this bird. Look at this bird. It's got a red head and green feet. Got red head and green feet, sir. Boop. <laughs> they say it's too hot out here. Boop. Here's the statue. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Wow. Let's get another thumbnail, baby. Come here. That's the one. I'm done. I'm done. I'm canceled. Do you want to walk down here? Look at this big open area. Man, I know. Looking at the family, we don't really have anything. We're gonna walk around and enjoy the beauty, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Here's the back of the hotel. It's really, really large and the inside looks beautiful. I'll try to get some footage, but we just parked in this parking lot behind the building and we got a room that's supposed to look, um, it's called a tropical view and it's a corner room. So we should have a view of Lake Mirror, which is right there. So we'll see. I've never been in a hotel and I was working on it. You guys, this place is so freaking cool. They're like renovating it and it's so, they're playing Frank Sinatra in the lobby. Like it's so nice. And we got the ninth floor, which is the highest. And we got a corner room with a great view. So I'm gonna take you along the journey, let's go. <gasps> this is so nice, babe. They have a little Keurig in here. <gasps> oh my God, dude, this room is bomb. Oh my god, this is a fancy hotel, hello? Dang, you guys. Look at these curtains, okay, artsy. Look at this nice bed, little side table. Let's look at the bathroom. What is this room? Here. Open it and let's see. Yeah, it is, okay. Oh my god, dude, this bathroom. <laughs> oh my god. That looks pretty dope. We got like a bunch of friends and grand three rooms and we can open I joined them all. Hello. Look at this wallpaper. This is so trendy and cute. And the window is frosted over, but it's super high up. Look how nice the shower is. <laughs> you happy boy. Mm -hmm. A happy girl. Let's look. Oh! <gasps> Wow, let's open these right, oh my god. <gasps> Modern classic event. Babe, oh my god. This is the same one, Hollis Gardens are right there. Oh. There's Hollis Gardens, there's the splash zone that we were at, there's the statue, this is the same exact one. Two. How did we not notice this? I noticed that building, the construction there. Do you remember those little things in the water you were like, are those? Mm -hmm. I think that's a fountain maybe that doesn't work right now. I'm like 95% sure that's a fountain. Wow, this view is incredible. So beautiful. Let's look out this window. <laughs> You're okay. And this is probably downtown. Oh, this is just one big curtain. Got it, got it, got it. Oh my God, this place is so nice. Look. Look at that crane up there. Whoa. I think they're doing, making apartments here, either apartments or another hotel, but they're doing some construction there. This is the, you can see another lake over there. There's another lake over there. Here's the downtown area. They're really tearing stuff up down there. There's a little mini fridge. Okay, watch out. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I love this view. I'm so glad we got this room and I paid $10 more. 
All right, so we're just gonna chill for a minute and like get together a game plan of what else we wanna do for today and tomorrow. And then I'll let you guys know, but this is amazing. And I only paid $10 more for a corner room with a view than a regular room. And I'm so glad, best $10 ever. So I'll check in with you guys once we do something else. I don't know when or if, <laughs> okay. But I'll check in with you guys later. Hello. We came to the gym because Aaron's gonna work out later. So I wanna show you because it's really, really nice and they have a lot of equipment. They have all these, which is what Aaron uses, obviously. Got a bench, they've got an elliptical, they got towels, they got a water machine. They got this block. Yeah, I know. I know. There's another mirror. They got a couple treadmills, a bike, a ball, a balancing ball, some weighted balls, some mats. More mirrors. This place is nice. Are you excited? Okay. Yeah, me too. It's industrial. Yeah, this is on the lower level, so it's like below the lobby. Here's the outside of the building. They've got these little lounge areas here and right here. Cute. Look at the pineapples. And the, uh, what's that swan? All right, we're at Lake Hollingsworth. I was planning on getting out and walking around, but this one is basically one big loop around the whole lake that you walk around. And basically I don't wanna walk around the whole lake. And if I go halfway, I have to go halfway back. So I just wanna see what it looks like. And it's beautiful. It's very, very large. There's a lot of birds here. The other place we're going next is more like a reservoir type thing where it has like alligators, which obviously this probably has alligators too. But the other one you can see more like wildlife. This one looks more like clean and kept up really nicely. And the houses around here, whoo, there's some mansions like everywhere around here. It's pretty insane. So let me show you what the lake looks like and then we'll head off to our next destination. What? Oh, jet skis. Look at that bird. Okay, so here is Lake Hollingsworth. It's beautiful. It's really, it's pretty big and it has really nice walkway around the whole thing with like really big oak trees with spanish moss hanging from them it's really really pretty it looks like a very well kept nice lake i feel like this is probably like a ritzier richier neighborhood you know what i'm saying so they like to keep it looking nice here are people going out on jet skis that's cool on a gator infested lake <laughs> Okay, we're gonna go to the next destination and I'll show you that when we get there. You guys, there's a storm coming. Look how beautiful. Miles. Turn left onto Winter Lake Road. I just wanna show you guys, look at this storm oncoming. It looks so ominous and I love it so much. And then look behind me. <laughs> it's like sunny and nice over there. And then we've got like the really dark rain clouds. I just wanna show you guys. All right, plans have changed. While we were going to the lake, it was you can see behind me right there. It was lightning like crazy and it's about ready to thunderstorm. Okay, so it was storming like I was saying and there was like really bad lightning and it's, I mean, it's really dark. I don't know if you guys can tell, but um, it's like black and it's going to downpour and storm really bad. So I was like, let's not be near water while it storms and we're not even gonna see any wildlife because they're probably gonna be hiding. So we're gonna go to um, Target. Aaron wants to get a pair of gym shorts so that way he can work out later. And we're gonna get some food, go back to the hotel, eat, hang out there for a little bit. And then um, the storm's gonna pass in a couple hours and then we're gonna go walk downtown a little bit and see what it looks like at nighttime. So that's the game plan for now. Look at these clouds, I love it. This is literally what like, tornado season looks like in Indiana. Like it's daylight out and then a big, huge storm just rolls through for like an hour or two and then it goes away. That's what tornado season looks like in Indiana. I know that, that that's not what it is here. It's just like tropical storms they have like every day or whatever. I know it storms for a couple hours here, but like look how nice it is over here and then over there it was like pitch black. But it's so funny, it's like sunny and so blue over here. You would literally never know that like right behind us is literally about to pour down. Yep, it's literally down pouring outside. We made it to the car just in time for it to start down pouring and now we're getting food. I just want to show you, it finally came down. It's pouring. God, bro. Oh, God. I'm 
scared. We're almost there. It's like 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> and Aaron got Domino's. We love, what is this? Cheesy feta bread? Uh, cheesy, it's got cheese and spinach. spinach? And other cheese I don't know, it's this bread. Spinach. He loves it. We, like, we didn't get any pizza because we like the bread so much. I'm not hungry, so I don't think I'm gonna have any, but Aaron got some and he got a beer to have with his cheesy bread. So that's exciting. We didn't wind up going back out tonight because the weather isn't very cooperative. It was like raining and it's really, really wet outside. So we didn't go back out tonight, but we did drive around at nighttime. So I'll insert some of that footage here for you guys. It was so pretty. So now we're just going to eat our cheesy bread and hang out in the hotel room for the rest of the night. So this is it for the for the vlog for today. I'll pick up vlogging tomorrow morning. We have a couple more things to do in Lakeland before we head to Tampa and then head on over to St. Pete. Also, there is a hurricane coming for St. Pete. So we'll see how that goes. If you want to follow on the journey, make sure to hit that subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up. It's gonna be interesting. We've never experienced a hurricane or anything close. We're from Indiana. We know tornadoes and that's it. So Could it should turn be interesting. Could be like some found footage. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> so it should be interesting. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Goodbye.